Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. I wanted to show you some examples of exponential growth and decay bacteria problems. So I wanted to show you this example here. We have a common inhabitant of human intestines is the bacterium E. coli. A cell of this bacterium in a nutrient broth medium divides into two cells every 20 minutes. The initial population of a culture is 60 cells. And this is going to be a two-part question. Part A is going to be to find the relative growth rate, and part B is to find an expression for the number of cells after t hours. And actually, this is kind of an interesting one because, well, there's a couple different ways we could do part A, but honestly, I think the easiest way to do part A would be to actually do part B first, and then we can get part A from there. So. A lot of times with these uh, you know, exponential growth and decay problems, finding the expression which represents the number of cells or the population or the you know, account balance in, an, in a bank account or you know, whatever the problem is representing, usually finding an expression that tells you the number or the amount of that exponential growth or decay number after a certain amount of time, that expression is going to be able to be used to find to basically describe other pieces of the scenario that's being described. So in this case, if we're trying to find the relative growth rate, finding that expression is going to make finding the relative growth rate very easy for us. And guys, before we jump into this problem, if you find these videos helpful, please be sure to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button down below, and hit that bell icon. Only like 2% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to the channel, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, join the Jake's Math Lessons community, together we'll keep crushing it in calc all term, and I'll help make homework and tests easier for you. So hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into this problem. So basically what we want to start with is kind of just the formula for exponential growth and decay which is actually one of the formulas on my Calculus 2 study guide or my integral calculus cheat sheet. If you haven't already checked that out, there's a link down in the description where you can learn more about that or in the pinned comment down below. But the expression that we're gonna be kind of basing this off or the formula that's on my study guide uh, about this is basically the kind of general form when we have exponential growth or decay when it's um, you know continuous essentially um, is we have y equals y sub zero times e to the k times t. So basically in this expression, or actually I guess we should probably say y of t so that it you know explicitly shows that this is a function of time basically. Um, in this formula, we have y sub zero here, which is whatever our initial starting number is. So in this case, we know that the initial population of our culture is 60 cells. So in this case, y sub zero is going to be 60 and that's just given e is always going to be e that's a known constant it's like 2.7 k is our relative growth rate so this k represents it could be the relative growth or the relative decay rate depending on if the problem is a growth or a decay problem in this case obviously our population is growing so that k represents the relative growth rate and then t is the time that we're trying to figure out the population of the cells at. So what we can kind of do, since what we want to do is use this formula to come up with an expression for the population of cells, obviously we already know y sub zero. Once we figure out k, that k is going to tell us exactly the answer to part a, the relative growth rate, because k just simply represents the relative growth rate. So in order to basically figure out what that k should be in this formula, what we want to do is use uh, another point that we know basically lies on this, uh, this function or uh, you know, another piece of data that tells us how many cells are in this culture at a certain time. Well, <clears throat> if we know that each cell is going to divide into two cells every 20 minutes, we can kind of figure out how many cells there are after 20 minutes or 40 minutes or an hour. Since our expression is meant to represent the number of cells after t hours, I would say probably figuring out how many cells we have at, uh, when t is 1, so after 1 hour, is probably going to be the easiest option for us. So if we start with 60 cells and it doubles every 20 minutes, what we want to do is figure out how many cells there are after an hour. So basically, we could just kind of keep track. Basically, when time at time 0, 0 minutes after we start measuring, we obviously have 60 cells. 20 minutes later, so basically a third of an hour later, we're going to double that. So 60 times 2 would be 120, 
After two thirds of an hour, which is 40 minutes, we would just double this. So that'll give us 240. And then at an hour, we're gonna just double that to get 480. So basically when T is one, we should have 480 cells. So basically we can take this for T, we can take this for our Y, since this function should represent the total number of cells when T is whatever number, in this case one, and then we obviously already know our Y sub zero is 60. So if we plug in all that information into this expression, or into this formula, we would get 480 equals 60 times e to the k times t, and t is again one. Whoops, that should be a one. Sorry about that. So now we have this formula, or this function, and we've basically plugged in all the pieces except for one piece, which is k, which, like I said, is the thing we're trying to solve for. So obviously we don't know that to plug it in. So now all we have to do is solve this equation for k. So dividing both sides by 60 would cancel the 60 on the right side and would leave us with eight over here. And then K times one is just K. So then if we wanna get the K all by itself, we could just take the natural log of both sides. And that just gives us K equals natural log of eight. So if K is natural log of eight, we could basically put that back into our original expression, giving us y of t equals 60 times e to the natural log of eight times t. So this would be an expression that would tell us the exact number of cells after t hours. So this is our, this is our solution to part b. Now to figure out our solution to part a, like I said, basically this number right here, what we got for k, that's gonna be our relative growth rate. So what we wanna do is figure out uh, and you know an approximation for what natural log of 8 is and if you plug natural log of 8 into a calculator you would just get this 2.079 and you know you could keep going further but basically that tells us uh, our relative growth rate would be 2.079 let's say but if we wanted that as a percentage we would just move the decimal over two places so that would give us 207.9 percent would be our relative growth rate or i guess i should say 207.9 percent per hour basically and that would be the solution to part a so again if you found this video helpful please be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below give the video a like and like i said be sure to hit that subscribe button join the jake's math lessons community and you know be sure to keep checking back for my next videos and together we'll keep crushing it all term and getting you good grades in calc thanks and see you next time